The year is about to end, and I didn't want to end it without leaving my top best fighters of the Baki series. Well, this will be a top of the 12 strongest fighters. Before I start, I want to say that in this place, I will not include Yuichiro Hanma, because almost nothing is known about him and we know very few of his feats. Now, without further ado, let's get to know these men. It's trying to eat me! This place goes to Mr. Unchained, Oliva Biscuit. As much as I hate to say it, I must admit that Oliva is no longer the monster he used to be. In his last few appearances, he has been defeated by his opponents and is no longer on Yujiro's level. In fact, the ogre easily subdued him the last time they met. In their last fight, Nomi easily humiliated and knocked him out. But well, despite all this, Biscuit is still one of the strongest men. I don't think it's necessary to remember all his feats, since he is one of the best-known characters of the series. Probably his debacle is due to the passing of the years. You also have to remember that he has not been interested in learning a new martial art. He only relies on his physical strength, and that has been his biggest mistake. The good news is that he reappeared in Chapter 138 of the manga. I hope he gets the respect he deserves this time. It's trying to eat me! Next on the list is Sensei Shimbokawa. This guy hasn't had much action, but certainly his fight in the sumo tournament showed us that he's still a tough guy. He's one position above Oliva Biscuit, because I consider him the perfect counter to the Unchained. Oliva is a man of brute strength and Goki has a technique that counteracts his strength. We already saw that he was even able to overpower Nomi without much trouble using his Aikido technique. I think Goki could beat Oliva in a fight. Of course, that's assuming Biscuit continues to use only his physical strength. His fight against Jack Hanma was one of the best in the series and I don't think we've seen the full potential of this guy yet. Next in the ranking is the indestructible Hanayama. This guy is still among the top 10 strongest thanks to all the feats we have seen him do. He fought the legendary swordsman Musashi Miyamoto and managed to give him a good fight. And we can't forget his brutal fight against the criminal spec. That fight was one of the wildest in the series. In an episode of Scarface, Hanayama confronts a shark and defeats it using his bare hands. This guy should no longer be considered human. Besides being a very physically strong man, you have to remember that he is a powerful mafia boss in Japan. He has a lot of money and contacts. Even the government asks him for help when everything gets tough. It's trying to eat me. Next we have the guy who defeated the indestructible Hanayama, Katsumi Arachi. Katsumi has shown that he has a lot of potential. His fight against Pickle kept us on the edge of our seats. He was determined to put his life on the line to defeat Pickle, and didn't mind being eaten by the caveman. After having Retsu's right arm implanted in his body, Katsumi was able to use the same Chinese Kenpo moves that Retsu was using when he was alive. His kicks and punches at the speed of sound are his most lethal weapon. He is also a karate master who now possesses Chinese martial arts. If he continues to get stronger, he will probably scale several places in the rankings. For now, he has yet to fully master Chinese martial arts. So, I will leave him in this position for now. It's trying to eat me. I'm going to add Retsu to the list, because even though he is no longer part of the main story, in a spin-off, Retsu has shown that he has evolved as a fighter. Retsu is not just a fighter, he is now able to take on magical creatures such as ogres, goblins, and dragons. In the Baki series, Retsu had always been one of the strongest fighters. Unfortunately, he had to face Musashi Miyamoto. I'm not going to talk too much about his skills. We all know that he is a master of martial arts, and from what we have seen in the spin-off series, he has become much stronger than before. He is definitely a character we will miss in the main series. It's trying to eat me. 
At number 7 in the ranking is the Tiger Slayer, Dopo Orochi. The sumo arc has been a good moment for the god of war. We have seen him rise from the ashes. Dopo had had little prominence in the series and was being a bit forgotten. However, with the sumo arc, we could see that this guy is still one of the strongest men in the world. Dopo improved his karate and continued to get stronger. His match at the sumo tournament showed us that he continues to improve each of his techniques. Also, in his most recent fight, Dopo totally humiliated Kiaya, the guy who made it out alive when he faced Yujiro Hama. Although he seems like a nice guy, he's the last man you want to face. Among his greatest feats is the time he managed to fight on the level of Yujiro Hanma. It's trying to eat me! The sumo god is in sixth place. Nomi was the main antagonist of Bakido. This guy is probably the character with the most haters in the series. Among his feats is having turned coal into diamond with the pressure of his hands. He has the strongest grip only behind Yujiro. And let's not forget the time he beat Oliva Biscuit. At that time all the fans were in shock. Some applauded him and some hated him for it. However, it must be admitted that Nomi is an elite fighter. His defeat against Jack was due to his overconfidence. In fact, at the time Jack himself admitted that if Nami had had more grip, he would have taken the win. It's trying to eat me. Jack has had a couple of stumbles in his life. This guy was losing his way and forgetting the goal he had worked so hard for. Jack became obsessed with getting stronger and underwent many surgeries but this made him forget to train his most important muscle, his brain. Well, it seems he has been working on it and made a flawless comeback earlier this year. Jack defeated the number 6 in this ranking. Nomi and Jack had the best fight of the sumo arc. This was a fight that made fans regain their love for the series. And while well, if you defeat the bad guy, you automatically take his place. Jack is a fighter who has a somewhat peculiar fighting style. He fights using bites. He is also an expert in street fighting. He defeated Nomi almost effortlessly, and that was because this time he was able to use his brain and calculate his opponent's every move. This shows us how smart he has become as a fighter. It's trying to eat me. Pickle remains one position up in the rankings for the simple fact that he has not been defeated by Jack. Some would argue that Jack could currently defeat Pickle, but until that happens, the caveman will remain above Jack. Pickle is a fighting machine. What makes him more dangerous than the others on this list is the fact that he doesn't fight for fun. For Pickle, it's a battle of prey versus hunter. It's a fight for survival that makes him very dangerous. Technically, he hasn't been defeated in combat yet. It's true that Musashi made him run away, but I wouldn't count that as a defeat. Baki couldn't defeat him either. So, for the moment, no one has managed to knock out the prehistoric caveman. It's trying to eat me. Well, I give Baki this place in the ranking for reasons I will explain later. His greatest feat has been enduring a long fight against Yujiro. Baki even made his father feel pain, something the ogre admitted to not feeling for a long time. Baki is a guy who never stops training and his strength only increases day by day. Since Ujiro is no longer considered human, we can say that Baki is the strongest man alive on Earth. This guy would be able to beat most of the men on this list. He has not had much prominence in Baki do manga, but he has made it clear that he is still training and getting stronger. It's trying to eat me! <laughs> Most of you will probably disagree with me, but well, in my humble opinion, Musashi is the second strongest man the Baki series has ever had. The fact that Itagaki had to take him out of the series in such a crazy way tells us that this guy was too broken that even the series creator didn't know how to defeat him in a coherent way. His defeat at the hands of Mufabi always seemed to me to be symbolic, nothing more. If we remember correctly, he got up as if nothing had happened after the fight in Mufabi.
was the one who had to go to the hospital. Mutsashi is one of the few men who made Yujiro smile with joy. The ogre considered him a worthy opponent and was willing to take the fight seriously. But well, we all know how the fight ended. His fight against Baki is something important to give him this position in the top. An honorable mention goes to the Emperor of the Sea, Kakukayo. The reason I have not included him in this top is because we have only seen him fight once and it looks like it was his last fight. I believe Kaku is now retired, and the other fighters in this top have continued to improve their skills. It's trying to eat me! The first place was obvious, after all what hasn't already been said about this guy. The strongest creature on Earth, a guy able of stopping an earthquake in one hit. Yujiro has no problem with standing a direct lightning strike. I wouldn't doubt that he would also be able to swim in boiling water if he wanted to. Currently, it is unlikely that anyone will be able to defeat him in a fight, and the reason is simple. He keeps getting stronger with each passing day, even while he sleeps the Hamma blood keeps working. This guy is getting thicker, and looks like he has muscles, even in his ears. I don't know what to tell you about Yujiro. The man can stop earthquakes with one punch and can also stop projectiles with one finger. The ogre is too overpowered. A new year is about to start, and things will probably change in this top, so I'll keep it updated. But remember this is just my personal opinion. I would like to know your top of the strongest fighters in the series. Tell me what do you think about Yuichiro. Do you think he is stronger than Yujiro? Leave your opinion in the comment box and I will read you. And well friends, thanks for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.